Hey guys, it's Christy. I'm going to be spray painting these wine bottles with this paint to make um, some decorative wine bottles. And I'll insert a picture of some that I've previously done right here. So the first step is to soak your bottle in hot water. Um, and some sort of oil. I'm using coconut oil. I normally use vegetable oil, but I don't have any right now. Um, so I'm letting that soak so that I can take the pills off, like the labels, take the light, peel the labels off. So the next step is to um, spray paint these. So I am doing three, but the other one is currently in the sink like you saw a minute ago. So I'm gonna spray paint these and then I'll be right back. So they did run just a little bit. It is quite hot out here today. And just so you know, you do not have to use wine bottles you already have. If you wanna purchase them, you can. They'll save you from having to take the labels off. But they get kind of expensive just for some wine bottles. So I use ones I've already got. So while we're waiting for the spray paint to dry, if you can tell, I have peeled the labels off. They're right there. And now I'm gonna take this brush, scrub brush, and it's kind of nasty right now, but we're just scraping this stuff off the wine bottle, um, which you can find this pretty much anywhere. And I'm gonna scrape it off the wine bottle. And then I'm gonna take some scissors and cut off this little piece here. And then I'm going to wash the wine bottle with soap so it's not oily anymore once I get all of it off. So I did decide to go with a purple for this one. So you have purple, green, and orange. So it's very fall-ish. Fall, fall fall. Anyway, um, something I will suggest is to use different bottle shapes, which I, I, this, I use the bottles I had on hand. But if you wanted to use different shapes, you could purchase those or just purchase bottles of wine in different shapes. And you can see this different shapes again in the picture I posted earlier. I'll insert it again right here. Okay, so now we are ready to put decorations on the bottles. Um, I am out of twine, so I'm using this, which is the natural cord. It's $4.99 at Hobby Lobby. I already had it. And these flowers, which I already have. And there's a little key in there too, if you can see it right there. A little key that is right there. I've got my hot glue gun ready. And we're just going to get started. So, I need three flowers. and the key. I'm going to use the key and then I'm going to use three flowers and I've got several to choose from. I think I'm going to use this one and this one and this one. These, they, the three kind of blend together pretty well and they're the same size. So for this one, I'm going to go use burlap around it. Or well, not burlap, but the string. So I'm gonna do the string first. And I'm gonna start with wherever I want the back of my bottle. So I'm just gonna do it right here. And I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue right there to start off my bottle. And then just kind of hold it there for a minute. And then I'm going to wrap the cord around the base of the bottle. And for this one, um, I do tend to hot glue the entire base so it does not slip off. So if you're, if you want to do that too, you can kind of just start running the hot glue, very light string, all part of the way around the bottle, lay the rope because hot glue dries fast. So 
the little rope is laid. And then just kind of keep going around. And I only do it at the very base. It's all the way around, and then I just wrap the string until I'm satisfied with how high it is. You do want it as close to the base as possible. So once you are satisfied with how high it's wrapped, um, you then glue it in the back again. You then take your scissors and cut the remainder off. And this is the back of your wine bottle. So it will sit up like this. So the next piece you wanna do is wrap it around the tip and we want the back to, again to be the exact same place as the front and I'm leaving the top part empty. I'm gonna do it right here. And we're gonna use the glue again this is the back because it's the same spot as the other one. Glue it on there and then wrap it. And this one you don't have to because it does have a stopper spot by the uh, where the bottle changes. So once you have it as far down as you want, you do a little hot glue again and you Hold it there for a second, and then you trim the excess. Just like that. So for this bottle, I think, I think I wanna use, hmm, let's use this one. So I'm going to glue my, gun, my flower to it right in the center so that it looks like that. I'm going to set this one aside and I'm going to work on another one. I think I'm going to do this one. So the green one, I think I want to do the key. So if I'm going to do the key, well, maybe, maybe not. I think I'll do the bow at the bottom. We'll do the bow at the bottom on the green one, just like my other green one that I've got. And you literally just, and I think, yeah, you literally just have to glue it on down here. And I think for this one, to give it a little touch at the top, I may wrap it too. We've got it wrapped at the top, and I've got my flower on it at the bottom. Now I'm on to the purple one. So for the purple one, I want to use the key and the flower. So I'm gonna put the key on here. Cut the string. I am not at the end. 
just like that and drape the key over the bottle. So it hangs like this. And then I'm going to put a flower, put the flower on kind of close to the key. Like right here. So this is my end result of the wine bottles I created for a display. So um, this was all stuff that I already had that I put on these bottles, mainly, I already had the bottles, I already had everything else. Um, I do think they look pretty decent. I do not think they turned out as well as my first ones, which I have included a picture of several times in here. So let me know what you think, and thanks for watching.